Welcome back, Dinosaur members. It's the Talking T-Rex, aka Bajolzi speaking here. And welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2, where in today's episode, we will test out the Dominion's Giganotosaurus strength while it battles against every large giant carnivorous theropod dinosaur currently in Jurassic World Evolution uh, 2. We have all these hatcheries and on the left side we have all Giganotosaurus with no modifications, default one, not even dinosaur traits whatsoever. They're all neutral along with all the other carnivorous dinosaurs and they will be one by one released and we will see what the Giganotosaurus from Dominion can actually take on and who will win and who will lose. So yeah, make sure to cast a vote. Now, um, let's see uh, first in the genome library of which dinosaurs we are actually talking about. We are talking about Acrocanthosaurus, Abertosaurus, Allosaurus, Baryonyx, uh, Cacarodontosaurus, Carnotaurus, Ceratosaurus, Cryolophosaurus. Um, these don't count, the Dimetrodon, because they are small. Um, I might miss one. The default Giganotosaurus as well, as a little uh, giggle of that, because uh, of course there is an old Giganotosaurus, which kind of is, it, it varies very differently from the domain Giganotosaurus. The Indominus Rex was, was a pain to get to the neutral, to have it no traits whatsoever, and it is impossible for the Indoraptor. Indoraptor cannot, or maybe, but I have retried over 50 times I rehashed Indoraptor 50 times and everyone, every Indoraptor had uh, the aggressive instinct or something like that um, as the dinosaur trait. So that Indoraptor will have the aggressive one. I can't make it neutral. Um, so yeah, um, along with Majongosaurus, who is a uh, neutral, luckily, Meg Meg uh, Megalosaurus, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I thought <laughs> the other names would be difficult to pronounce. Metrocanthosaurus, and uh, let's see, we have the Quanzalosaurus, Scorpius Rex, Spinosaurus, and uh, the T-Rex, of course. So yeah, can you vote? Who do you think? Oh, we'll win now before we get into the testing make sure to stomp your t-rex or get off foot on that subscribe and bell button if you want to get notified of more of these videos now let's release the first giga in here there we go beautiful <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So yeah, without any modifications, as you can see, right here. There we go. No trace manifested. And there we are, the first Giga Nut Source. And he's kindly waiting for the opponent to come out. Now let me actually double check. Yes, the combat frequency is on on. I hopefully I got all the settings right for this to actually work. So here we go, Acrocanthosaurus, or can we even call you an acro? I'm not too sure. But here it comes. Love the camera work there. Acro! Coming out! So yeah, no injuries because that of course, uh, <laughs> well, determines most of the fights there by a lucky uh, sprain or major fracture. So this is all neutral. I think they are going to fight. Here it comes, the first battle. Oh my word, look at that. Smell my breath! <laughs> Smell my breath. Here it goes. Acro versus Dominion Giga. Let the battles begin. First snap goes to the Acro Cantosaurus. Of course, some dinosaurs actually have built in modifications that we cannot delete. Frontier, of course, put them in. Um, like the Indoraptor having some um, attack modifications that we can't delete. So it will have a major advantage. And even this, Acro Cantosaurus wins with 58. Uh, percent health versus 56 it is very much balanced now that was one fight and now i will speed it up using this so they will actually starve and don't have or oh, it's examining it and they don't need water but they will need food i think that will actually trigger the battling in order to kill one another for food and then the victor will get a little snack so it actually has let's see 100 percent because they still have food they still have food but they will surely stop and they will get hungry there we go the health is going down and now we will see who is going to survive between each of them there's another battle there i think the acro actually won there 
53% health. Yeah, it is going down pronto. Let me actually see if I if I put this up. Will they um lifespan unlimited? That's the wrong one. There we go. All carnivores. There we go. Now we see all carnivores. Will they actually go down or will they straight up heal up? I'm not sure. Yeah, they will actually heal up. That's why it doesn't work. They will just heal up and do this forever. I think there won't be a finishing animation here and there, but I think yeah, that will not work so i'll put it back to where the carnivores uh, could uh starve there in order to to uh, have these battles uh, faster i think yeah they're both on 100 percent again they're just examining one another but that was just one battle and we will see later on who actually won next up is the giganotosaurus versus oh they battled again okay who who won this time i'm not sure but we will see an outcome uh, there so let's re um zoom time there and release an albertosaurus oh my word king already next to it this is a tricky test this is a tricky test but I will actually determine the strongness, well, the, <laughs> the power of each dinosaur on the first battle. Because, uh, yeah, this this game varies a lot. It, 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 I don't like the mechanics. It's, I'm not really in control in this game. It's, it's very different with Jurassic World Evolution 1. Where no modifications mean actual neutral and one battle could determine the outcome of each. So here we go. Albertosaurus versus Dominion Giga. First strike, going for the Dominion Giga there. And we will also see the other fights in the background. A snap by the Albertosaurus, what did I say? Megalosaurus. Let's see. Will the Dominion Giga strike it? Yes, it will. Low health. Here we go. I kind of wish that we could. Oh, a headbutting by the Albertosaurus, but it will back down. It loses against the Giga. So, yeah, Giga won with the Albertosaurus, and I think it lost against the Acro. Definitely, definitely have lost against the Acro. That they will have a rematch. So, let's release the second Giga from a different angle this time. And after that, we will skip through because we want to see all the camera angles as well. And let me take a quick sip. So there we go. We're counting this, um, these battles on the first battle and the final victor. Who will who survived in the enclosure till the end? Who is the strongest survivor and who's the strongest attacker? That will be determined at first. And for that, I need an aloe. Give me an aloe. There we go. My head was all crooked, just like that door. So Allosaurus coming in. And we will see a battle between them while the Allosaurus goes to sleep peacefully. There we go. Now we will see a confrontation between the Allosaurus and the Dominion Giga. So who do you think will win this one? Probably the Giga. <laughs> Probably. Let's see who will attack. They will not actually um, fight each other. We'll just have to wait again. We'll just have to wait again. There, I will not place any feeders or any water in here as well. I think that's oh, that might be the end. <laughs> there could be a different outcome if I leave them in longer enough. The Dominion Giga from the first battle actually um, has a lot of health. Have they battled yet? No, they have not. They have not battled each other at all. I think this will be a battle, definitely, or examination. Yeah, it just goes around. It's so weird that it does that. First death. Go um. Uh, Alberto taking out Giga. Okay. That is a new one. All these smaller carnivorous dinosaurs still have a chance. Look at that. Okay, we need a... Are they actually not fighting? Are they fine with each other? No, they are not. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is so totally weird. But that was the snap by the aloe. Here comes the snap by the Giga. It is starving, though. It is starving. That might affect it. There it goes, another snap of the aloe. The main, the main gigas is not good at all. All the all of them are going down. What is going on? This can't be. 
Is it because there are other Giganotosaurus in here? Is it because that's the thing? They're, they are all alphas of their own species. That's why they are stronger. Because the Gigas don't have shared an alpha with each other, it brings down their alpha shift. So we can't even... Oh my word! We should have done this in Jurassic World Evolution 1. This can't be. <laughs> we have to manually wait until a Giga is gone. And that will be the case for this Giganotosaurus right here. The Allosaurus has won. There it goes. Which is weird. But okay. I will actually try this with this uh, Dominion Giga. So this Dominion Giga will be released. And now this Baryonyx. Cherry to Berry coming out. Oh, it's not Cherry to Berry. I think it's Chaos. Might be wrong. But a Camp Cretaceous. It's not only the cat. It's not the only Camp Cretaceous dinosaur. But we will see that this is the Alpha Giga, not the source now. As for right now. So we will see the outcome of this when we when they do um, tend to ba eventually battle. There we go. Now and battle starts. Let's see the Dominus on this one. It's the same as that one. So it shouldn't matter. Even though it's a uh, yeah, it shouldn't matter. But maybe it does. This game is very weird when it comes to groups and battling. That looked like a second Giga for a second because I sped up time. <laughs> I did not see that it moved to the right. It looked like there was a second Giga. And there it goes! Oh my word! I need, I couldn't even see that. I couldn't even see that. But there you go. Barry Onyx is so nerfed in this game. It's unbelievably... Oh. It's unbelievably weak. Compared to the other dinosaurs. So there you go. There you go. That is the um, Dominion Giga. Finally having a win on the other side. But what should I do now? Should I remove this one? And then call it for that? I'm not too sure. Let's check for the Dominus. It is all testing. 137. We will see the base stats for the other one. And for that, I need this Giganotosaurus. So this Giganotosaurus, let's see, has the same stats. So it shouldn't matter. It's an alpha as well. There's two alphas. Isn't an alpha per enclosure? This is all very confusing. <laughs> Anyways, Carcaronotosaurus. Get your bum in here. With a terrifying roar. There you go. Not, the, not even the full jaw is going open. So there we go. 130. See, they're all based. They're the same. Oh my word. Two Alpha Giganotosauruses. We will see who wins this one there. So they will, I think, battle right now. Yeah, it is. Here it goes. First stab by the Carcarodontosaurus versus the Giganotosaurus living at 75% health. Let's see if the Giga can respond. Oh, it's the same kind of attack. Another same kind of attack. The Giga is going down. See? See, the Giga is going down. And it will lower. Will it lower the dominance? Will it lower after a loss? It has a loss on its name that Okay, it does not lower anything at all. So it should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. But the Cargodontosaurus was in fact stronger. Now to release another Giga along with Toro the Carnotaurus. Expecting other Carnotaurus? No, no, no. This is the only Carnotaurus in here. Let's see the stats for that as well. It's all the same. And it's an alpha once more. So it really shouldn't matter. That's a nice confrontation. I didn't know about this. Did you know about this? How else could you know if you didn't like separate them in different enclosures? Which I doubt many people have done <laughs> for their Giganotosauruses. So there we have it. Now we're just awaiting a battle between the um, Carnotaurus and... I kind of want to uh, keep them alive, which I will do to actually check the vi uh, victors in the end. So I'll place a feeder in each enclosure to keep them alive after they've done the uh, battles there. They're still battling. Here we go. Toro versus 
the Giganotosaur, 70% health. A snap by it. The Giga taking a bite there. And we will see. We will see who will prevail. Can it actually be Toro the Carnotaurus? Or the Dominion Giga? Which, well, looking at Barry on well, looking at Allosaurus, it's, it's, wow, it's weird. It's weird. It doesn't have any traits. It doesn't have, well, it's long lived. And, uh, Nocturne, no, but they should not interfere with their attack stats whatsoever. So there we go. The Dominion Giga won the first battle. Now to release the other one that will battle against the Ceratosaurus. Hmm. So there we are. Another battle has been taken place between them, and let's speed this up real quick. Ceratosaurus is really chasing the Dominion Giga. Are they going to fight? Are they? Yes, they are. That is a first snap by the Dominion Giga. Very aggressive, but a long shot snap by the Cerato. Oh my word, it is so small compared to the Dominion Giga. And that is accurate. And not a snap there. Toro is really hanging on there. The Serato trying to... Oh, it is not... Oh, oh, it is so weak. It's like, oh, Toro goes down. See, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. They're all the same and Toro goes down. Serato source to barely, barely, barely... They are really hanging on. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So, Toro sadly lost along with the Serato, but it's still alive. So, let's move on to another Giga against a Cryolophosaurus. I think the Cryolophosaurus is going to be wrecked in one bite. I am so sorry, but you were close to being a small carnivorous dinosaur, which you are not. You should be the same size as an Allosaurus. Kinda. Eh, thinking about it wrong universe, but <laughs> wish you were. Here we go. Look at that. If the Cryolophosaurus wins, it is going to be a miracle. The fact that it panicked. Oh my word! <laughs> it looks up to it like, oh my, what big teeth you have! <laughs> oh my word! Look at this. Look at the vision of the Cryo. It's oh, oh, bless it. <laughs> oh, bless it. Absolutely bless it. You can just grab its entire body in half. That is not gonna go well. Not gonna go well, but I have faith. I have faith in the cryo. Here he goes. He can withstand that snap, actually. And another one blocking the in uh, yeah, incoming attack. It's just gonna be loose. Ed. Oh no, another snap. Oh, it got a snap in the Giga. Doing 11% health. Oh, that's, yeah. There it goes. And all oh, the Serato going down as well. Look at them. Wow. The Mia Gigas really? What? I guess Allos? No, but Serato's, Cryos, and Tauros? I. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. There's Jurassic World Evolution 2 for you. But here you go. So y'all don't starve. Next up, we have a Giga. <laughs> but we have a Giga as well. The default. Frontier Giga Coming in with the snout there And I little I put the colors of the minion on the crest So there we go terrifying and there we go which model do you prefer the normal one or of course the Dominion one. I definitely, uh, it's so dragon-like, I definitely <laughs> prefer uh, monster-wise, yeah, the uh, Dominion Giga, of course, or showing the back to it, like, here, kitty, kitty, what are you doing? <laughs> you want, <laughs> the, you, yeah, oh my word, oh, they might actually not fight. Look at this, communicating one another. I might actually have to speed this up, triple time speed. They are still busy. Look at that. They are still busy. Okay, let's see if an actual fight happens. Or oh, they will starve. Hmm. I should have put anti-social thingamajiggies on them. Yeah, I, sh I sh really should have. <laughs> I 
I really should have. Oh, who lost? It's the Giga on this side. The Kakaradontosaurus won. So there we go. You guys cannot starve because I got those in there. So I don't think they uh, would battle, but I thought they would in the end if there wasn't any food. Which we might see now. I'm not too sure. They are starving. Can I do anything about this in the settings? I don't think so. Um, yeah. No, I really don't think I have the, the control there in the sandbox settings. I think that's just for the dinosaurs. So, it's just going to be who can outlive who. <laughs> Who's, you were released first. But it seems like the Frontier Giga is lower and starving more quickly than this Giga, which is weird and really interesting to see that they will under no circumstances battle each other to the death even though they are actually dying there. So there it goes. This is a non-alpha Giga. Let's see the stats on that one. It's the exact same as an alpha Giga. And I think it will actually die for... Oh, no. It comes to the... Oh, yeah. It will definitely... Yeah. There it goes. Well, Dominion Giga won. There you go. And... Oh, it might actually die as well. Oh, it's gonna die. Uh, can I save it at least? I don't think I can. Nope. That Giga will die. No Giga in that enclosure. Moving on. We have another Dominion Giga facing off Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex will face off against this Giganotosaurus. And I'm actually surprised after like 10 uh, tries, I got the neutral in Dominus Rex. This one does not have any modifications for the aggressive traits. Oh, there we go. The 2050, no, definitely not 2015 canon <laughs> in Dominus Rex. A, well, juvenile in uh, Indominus Rex. We'll battle, of course, against the Dominion Giganosaurus. There it goes. Who do you think will win? Who is the stronger carnival? The hybrid or the actual villain dinosaur? This is a match I wanted to see. 43% versus 65. That is a win for the Indominus Rex there. That is a win for the Indominus. And we will see a later outcome after I release this uh, there. They might actually do a rematch, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure the Giganaut source is healing up along with the Indominus Rex. So we will move on to the Indoraptor, which I think is, is, is a little unfair. But there was no way. There was no way. So there you go. It cannot get rid of aggressive. Um, it is there. Yeah. I couldn't get rid of it. After 50 tries, I kind of gave up. <laughs> I don't want to spend an hour trying to get a neutral in the Raptor. If this Giganotosaurus can win against this in the Raptor, I'll be fully amazed. Really, really. But we will see a battle between them. Here we go. The strongest hybrid in the game, definitely, um, when default modifications. But it takes a snot. A bite by the Giga first. Pounds in return. But it did a fair amount of damage. Fair amount of damage. So aggressive instinct doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be stronger. That is very interesting. Another pounce by the Indoraptor. Little damage. So I guess this is where they will end it. But it lost. The first battle it lost. Very interesting there. Wow. Okay. So they have lost. Let's actually remove uh, these two. So, the Indoraptor actually lost against the Dominion Giga. That's going to be interesting. And we will definitely see who will um, survive until the end. Majungasaurus. I think this is going to be the same case as Cryolophosaurus. Looking at size. I don't think it could withstand a fully grown Giga. But we will see. Maybe it could be seen as an Allosaurus. Hmm. No. No, definitely <laughs> no. That's a good joke. Good joke. Giganosaurus versus Indoraptor once more. And we will see the outcome of that. That's going to be the first battle. Was that a first battle right now? Okay. Indoraptor low health. Hello. Pounds. Oh, on the Giga. This is fairly interesting. Oh, my word. Wow. Okay. Indoraptor backing down, but it can still heal up. We're just waiting for a Majungasaurus battle. 
right here, which I think is going to happen in a matter of seconds. Uh, there or is gonna examine it once more. We just gotta wait for an actual battle between them. Majungasaurus does it actually wanna get a battle against the Giganosaurus? Now it wants to. Here it comes. That is gonna be very interesting. Oh, here it comes. A snap by the Giga, which leaves the Majungasaurus on 67% health. The Giga is chasing Indoraptor away. A snap by it. Which does okay amount of damage. More than Cryo did. It takes the same amount of damage as Cryo did. <laughs> and another snap would do it, but it's putting up fair uh, fair fight. 72 and backs down. Very interesting. Giga is on low health. Oh, it's gonna go down. Indominus Rex won. Indominus Rex is still the leader for that one. In the Raptor on low health. 50% of the actually oh my word there it goes 50% I didn't thought it would go for the finishing move at 50% look at it it still says 59% look at this oh my word that is what you get when you unbe unbelievable would you look at that the Giganotosaurus grabbing just like the Spinosaurus or the Indominus Rex. Well, it's not really in the jaw, it's there. <laughs> um, but it is still there grabbing the Indoraptor hole there. And I didn't actually think... Um, I need to take a screenshot of this. <laughs> there we go. Taking the Indoraptor hole there. I, I wouldn't have thought so. So there we have it. Indoraptor going down. I didn't think this would happen. It's so random. But there you go. 90% health. It loses to Inamus Rex. But the strongest hybrid in the game loses to another Giga. There's gotta be... No, it's still the same. There's gotta be... No, long lived. It doesn't have any modifications. Unbelievable. The outcome is always surprising. Always. I think Majungasaurus will actually lose... Oh, that was just a one snap. There you go. Giganotosaurus wins for this one as well. Low health for the Indominus Rex. I'm not too sure. It really does not want to heal up, but I put a uh, thing of a jig in there. So moving on to the next one. Another Giga versus Megalosaurus. Bless his heart. <laughs> really. Bless his heart. It's not really giant. It's not a real giant theropod, is it? No. <laughs> but... It's a medium one, yeah, but I thought it could still match up against it, which I am correct. It can still can. Look at Allosaurus. Allosaurus is a medium-sized theropod dinosaur in this game, not a giant one or a large one. No, it is not, but it's still one against the Giga. So this Megalosaurus, even though it sounds crazy enough, could actually defeat it. Um, looking at Indoraptor getting defeated by it, it's always a different outcome. It's totally random. I should stop looking at the size and just, yeah, determine an outcome from that only because it differs so much. So much, so much. So now we're just waiting for this battle to happen. There we go. Another jaw um, showcased by the, the Giganaut Source, which it likes to do. A snap by it. That does a lot of damage to the Megalosaurus. Another snap by the Dominion Giga. Which is not good. You should do something pronto. A snap to the leg there, which does a fair amount of damage. More damage than the other dinosaurs. You will definitely back down. Oh no, there it goes. Now that is that this is the kind of battles I want from now on. Just determine in one battle. No backing down. Giga is obviously stronger. There you go. That's our answer that I want to actually have. Um, but no, this game says no. Sometimes it will say yes in that case. Metricantosaurus. Show me what you've got. There you go. Can you actually take on the mini giga? I asked that for every dinosaur. And uh, it panically runs away. Oh, that is not a good sign. Giganotosaurus casually goes for a little nap there. And we will see who will actually be... Uh, a victor for this one. Hopefully I didn't starve any other of the victors. I don't think so. No. 
No, I, I'm, I'm sure of it. Double checking. I put one in here, but that was too late for the in um, the Giga Notosaurus that was left over. And I think I got it right. Oh, I'm waiting for these two, which are the ones that I just now put in. Mitra Cantosaurus still on 100% health. They're running low on food, so the battle is going to start anytime soon. Or it's going to run away. No, it's not. Look at them teeth. <laughs> it's got the same reaction as... Was it Majungasaurus? Uh, Ceratosaurus? Who was it? No, it was Cryo. It was Cryo who said, <laughs> what lost teeth you have. So here we go. Let's hope for a different outcome for once. Let's not go into 60% health. Zero percent health <laughs> in one bite. Confirmed. Metric Atosaurus being the absolute weakest of medium slash large uh, theropod dinosaurs. Unbelievable. The Metric Atosaurus from all dinosaurs. That's why it wasn't showcased in any of the canon movie par yeah, parks. It was just too weak. I bet you're gonna lose against a uh, Dilo or Dimetrodon. One snap. By the Giga, and it's not aggressive. It is not aggressive at all. There you go. There's the proof. It <laughs> I can't show it enough. There you go. Metric Antosaurus buys the dust. If you voted for Metric Antosaurus, <laughs> bless you. Quanzalosaurus. Here we go. With the top view. Coming in. Will you stand up against this Giga and put up more of a fight than the Metric Antosaurus? I don't think you will. I don't think you will. With my T-Rex-sized brain, I think you're going to get absolutely wrecked by this Dominion Giga. But hey, prove me wrong. Happily prove me wrong. While I wait for this. Look at all the steam coming out of the <laughs> hatcheries as well. Let's see. Um, oh, you actually finished. Oh, wait. No, I forgot. I just forgot to uh, feed you there. This is your prize. There you go. There's a lot of Gigas. All of them are Gigas, apart from the Indominus Rex, but the rest are just Gigas. Giga is a very strong dinosaur, indeed. Let's see a match between the Giga and this one going in, I think, sometime soon. I'm just waiting for it there. It's the same kind of motive that the Metro Cantosaurus trying to avoid the battles. Giga Notosaurus actually prompting it to battle and walking after it. Oh, please. Let okay. Another snap bite. Can it withstand an attack? Yes, this one can. This one definitely can. There it goes. That is a, um, a snap bite. Does a fair amount of damage. Again, like we saw. Oh, this is just deja vu. Another snap, and the Giga has won. And I told you, looking at all the scars, it's not gonna last long. Not gonna last long. Oh, they're actually gonna back down, but yeah, no, you definitely lost. Giga not the source going in versus Scorpius Rex. This is gonna be interesting. Very interesting. And there we go. Oh, the Quanzo source is gonna die. Yeah, there it goes. It will actually die and be taken out by the Giga once again. And there you go, your little prize. And now we see a sleeping Giga next to the Scorpius, and he's like, get up. <laughs> wow, what an insult sleeping right next to my face. There you go. And it's it is angry. It is angry. Once again with the Indoraptor. It, I couldn't get a normal one. Scorpius Rex has the most, um, well, treat, if we go to the G, I kind of want to show this. The, if we uh, synthesize a, um, if we try to, uh, the Scorpius Rex, if we go for it, I can't find it. I'm blind. Um, T-Rex eyesight. There we go. I had to make sure all of these, if I put it back to normal, look at all of this. This is, no dinosaur has this and it's got built in this i had to treat all of these and um that is the scorpius rex you see right here because if we go to here it doesn't have any apart from the aggressive one uh trait is there negative traits so we will see it's still got the poison on its side but it will take a snap by the giga if it does get 
a swipe of the quails on the side of the giga body the giga body if it backs down will surely lose it does it can stand to after one what one bite that's it now we gotta wait for a second match that was way too f just one snap and you took it down to, like you took 25 percent of its health and now it already healed up already healed up now it's gonna examine it there we go, and we just gotta wait for another match. 100% versus 100%. Is that gonna be a battle? No, it's not. <laughs> Please, Frontier, add maximum combat frequency. The normal one is driving me crazy. No, guys, shouldn't and wouldn't and don't wanna speed anything up. Because sometimes I miss these special animations like the Interraptor if it's just gonna be one battle. But here, guys, another snap by the Giga, taking it almost 25% uh, almost health once again. From the Scorpius. Look at that. Oh, that's gonna be a sweat. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The same amount of damage the Giga did plus poison. Health loss. That is gonna be it. Definitely. You're definitely gonna die by the Scorpius Rex, and we will see how that will go. The fine what one of the final Gigas will face up against Spinosaurus, which I will actually release the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. Can the villain of the third Jurassic Park movie take on the villain of the third Jurassic World movie? And we're soon gonna find out. There we go, they already roared towards each other. Let's see it. A first snap by the Dominion Giga. Ooh, taking a lot of health, almost 25 once again from the Spinosaurus, but it responds with a snap. And a body clash there. 56, 54, Giga 1! More damage to the Giga there. The Spinosaurus losing by 2% there of this, from this Giga, actually. Wow, could you believe it? I can't. I really can't. But it is reality that all oh, the Scorpius Rex is healing up and the Giga has slowly been worn down. That is not cool. Okay, let's actually speed this up. Oh, and there you go. That was, I yeah. Scorpius Rex needs to be taken out by many dinosaurs, not just one. And surprisingly enough, surprisingly enough, doesn't win in most battles. But in a 1v1, it, uh, it's got to be the strongest dinosaur. Ever. I think I think currently in this game it is just because it has the poison damage over time So now I think it's gonna be a rematch between the Dominion Giga and Spinosaurus. No while I say that it's not gonna be it This is I think I think this is yeah, it is A snap by the Giga once more. It goes down so slow to oh, To the first Biggest carnivores to ever walk, walk the earth. While well, I say that as a T-Rex, it hurts for me to say it. But in this universe, it claims to be 50%, 45. Spinosaurus backs down for a second time. A second time the Spinosaurus backs down. There you go. And just as confirmation, there you go. <laughs> it does not have any modifications. And wow. The Minion Giga taking on the Spinosaurus. One of our final batch, um, well, the batches, yeah, the batches as well. We got a Sukumimus with a massive fish grabbing jaw. It already looks scarred and it's got full of wounds, but no, that's just the skin. There we go, Sukumimus with the fog in the background, perfect. We got a Sukumimus in here with the Spinosaurus next to it. So we will see who will win between both of them when they do tend to actually battle each other. And because it doesn't have any fract uh, fractures, all the dinosaurs can just heal up from the things they have. They are, of course, very hungry, but the food lasts longer on the Spinosaurus. That's interesting. But can it withstand a bite uh, from... The, the Giganotosaurus, I'm not too sure. They haven't battled yet, um, but they are about to. A snap by the Giganotosaurus in the background. Another body clash there. Who will win? Giganotosaurus backing out with 52% health, 1% lower, but it's still back down. 
Oh, and it's gonna be the Krylophosaurus story. Ooh, does a snap against the Giganotosaurus. Interesting. Can it respond? Yes, it can. Tw bringing it back down to 20. Bringing it down to 20. Here's the final snap. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for the Sukumimus. It's just a waiting game. Oh, they're gonna back down. Where'd the other Giga go? Oh my word, it's... Oh, it's camouflaging with the door! <laughs> it's got the Indominus Rex genomes. 50% versus 61. I really want to see this go down. Because there's one battle remaining. One battle remaining. And it is there. And Spinosaurus won! That is not fair. Oh, you have... Oh, I hate you so much! <laughs> I hate you with a passion! Sukumimus! Show the... Giga not sure. Show the Sukumimus. What you made up? There you go. Oh my! I so sorry, Spinosaurus fans. I love you as a fan and a member, but I hate the Spinosaurus dinosaur in general so much. Oh my god! You have no idea. It won two battles, fair and square, and just because you're a fish feeding dinosaur, it had to be special. Um, you lasted longer on food. Wow! And that. Cause the Giganot source to drain in health because it obviously doesn't have any feeders. Just because of that, I'm not gonna get. Okay, no. Otherwise, your you, Spinosaurus fans gonna unsubscribe. I gotta put that in there. There you go. Final battle. And I actually removed the trees there because I wanted to make it special. I'm not too sure. But I'm gonna uh, remove the uh, trees either way because can you guess what the battle for this will be? It is, of course, gonna be. The Giganotosaurus from Dominion. This might actually be canon. It is gonna be a rematch. A lot of you will actually guess. But wow. It is gonna be the Rexy from Dominion. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. The final large Fairpod dinosaur. Can it face off against Giga? Show me what you got, Rexy! Show me what you've got. Teach that Giga a lesson there. I was rude for the Gigas two rounds ago against the Spinosaurus and the last round against the Sukumimus. But now I'm rooting for you, Rexy. Here we go. Um, no modifications. Sure, it would be fair. It's low on arm dominance. Oh boy, it's low on dominance, but we will see. Here we go. Once again, the classic terrifying intimidation display roar by the Giganaut Source. And the battle will begin. The final one. What is it gonna be? Who will take the crown? Is it gonna be the Giga Rex? Oh, not even a bite. First, a body clashing. Health 100. Eh! Wait. What? Hold up, hundred br- <laughs> What? Hundred- That's not possible. How is that possible? Hundred br- the <laughs> Frontier, the ballet doesn't make sense. Hundred percent body clash. Oh, now you're just twisting my leg. Is it outdated? Am I waiting for it? It doesn't matter. T-Rex putting it down with a snap. There it goes, finally registered. That was weird, it's backing down Giga 1 by 1%. That is not fair. If that body, if that first body clash would have hit the Giga, which it did, um, there is, you should be like in the 30, 20% health right now. Wow. That is really weird. Oh, just uh, like I thought, um, as I thought, I didn't put a feed in here. So sorry. But those two commandments did go down. Now it all comes down to these two uh, contenders there. Will Rexy actually heal up? Oh, the the bird. Okay, let's speed this up real quick. Come on, Rexy, the fellow T-Rex. Oh, it, will it be the Giganot Sword? Which is unfair. It, it was so unfair. I mean, <laughs> how? How? Come on. You, you got the fog on your side. The, the Superman has got as well. So, oh, I'm not too sure. Both are going back to 100%. 99 and 100, they're back at square one. But we will see the first snap going to the Dominion Giga. There we go. 
another snap by the T-Rex there which did less damage less damage though but now it finally does damage Rexy back and now twice that is two time victory for the Giga however we saw that with the Spinosaurus as well Giga won twice but guess who made a comeback that was the Spinosaurus can T-Rex learn from the Spinosaurus and pull it off I don't think it can because it isn't a fish feeder it doesn't have those special hidden abilities to keep the Spinosaurus fans happy <laughs> I'm just joking I'm just joking don't worry it's the joking T-Rex <laughs> oh boy okay 70% health it's got 10% lower health but can kill that Giga with the bone crushing jaws there 91 they heal up so much Heal up so much. Okay, here we go. Oh, now your own. No, 10%. 8% away. Here we go. Another clash between them. That did not. What is going on? Why is this Giga not taking damage? It's not taking damage twice now from a body clash. Why is that? Is that a thing? Frontier. Why? But T-Rex once again makes it up by biting once more. It takes up with Giga so much. Oh, they're just the same. Oh, it just comes down. Oh, wow. It is so... B it's not balanced at all. T-Rex is taking damage by the body clash, but the Giga isn't. The Giga really is that heavy, huh? It can really withstand the weight of a T-Rex. It's more heavily damaged than T-Rex. I'm not too sure. How can we conclude this battle? Oh, it's got 70% more health. You're healing up. Why is it healing up? It's got no food. Why is it healing up? Why is it healing up? Are you healing up? Okay, you're healing up. <laughs> If T-Rex was going down, I would honestly end the battle. That would have been so unfair. I don't know who designed this Giga in this um, hatchery, but uh, we need to get we need to fire that scientist. Wow. Okay, it's going down now. Better late than never. Uh, give some help back to Rex. Or are you going down as well? Looking for food. Fifty to is going down as well. That was unfair if I've ever seen one. Low health. Oh, it's not good for Rexy. Come on, T-Rex. Oh, my word. T-Rex has been nerfed so much. It's because of the skin. I put old Rexy's skin in here. Oh, what if I put young Rexy in here? Would the skin matter? Would it? Would it matter? 47% uh, health. If you put a bite in Giga and back down, you could win. You could win. Honestly, I don't think who could... Oh, no. They're not going to battle anymore. Oh, please get up. 45%, 30. You put 15 instead of 20% difference. You could kind of do this. If you put a snap in the Giga. If you do it, Rexy, it's on you. It's on you. No. Snap. 8%. Oh no, and there it goes. T-Rex going down in the fog. Look at that. Wow. The Giga taking down the Tyrannosaurus, and there is your price. So, what can we conclude from this? Which dinosaurs did it defeat? Which dinosaurs could it not? It could not defeat an Acro. It could not defeat an Alberto. Which is insanely weird. It could not defeat a T-Rex. Uh, it could defeat a T-Rex. But not an Allo. Um, an Allo is not as strong as T-Rex. If I put a T-Rex in here, will it lose to Allo? There are so many possibilities. It won against... Who was this? Uh, Kano? Who was this? Who is the fourth dinosaur... That was in here. It was the Baryonyx. It won against the Baryonyx. And the Carcharodontosaurus won against the Dominion Giga. Then the Dominion Giga won. Then the Dominion Giga won. Another one won. 
a... Oh, well, the no one won. Well, the other Gigabot couldn't save it. The Indominus Rex is stronger than the Dominion Giga. Then the Dominion Giga won. Another Dominion Giga. Another Dominion Giga. And then another Dominion Giga. Uh, another Dominion Giga. Then the Scorpius Rex. Then the Spinosaurus. Oh, it hurts my eyes. And then the Dominion Giga. And another Dominion Giga. So there you go. I failed to see how Allosaurus is stronger than... Okay. But there he goes. Now we conclude that, um, wow. Giganotosaurus in this game is insanely strong. Insanely strong. But not as strong as the um, Spinosaurus and the other ones. However, if I release another Giga, the outcome might be different. Um, this does not fully conclude that the Giga can take on Indoraptor or whatsoever because I've, I've seen from previous or <laughs> upcoming episodes uh, Indoraptor totally wrecks all the dinosaurs when it's got that dominance up But if it goes into a 1v1, it's not as strong as many dinosaurs and people think But it is definitely up there at the top tier predators of all time and I thought Actually, the Dominus thing will mess up with the other dinosaurs. These Dominus um, stats you see right now have been conflicted by the past battles. But when they were released, all the Alpha, they're all Alphas of their own enclosure, uh, were based on around about 137, which is very interesting to see when I analyze this. So, most of the majority, the victors will go, um, victories will go to the Giganotosaurus's. Um, there, which is very great to see. Very great. Giganotosaurus going up there, but not as strong <laughs> as these uh, ones. Well, if I put all Spinosaurus in here, hmm, would the Spinosaurus do um, more um, victories or less victories than the Giganotosaurus have? Who knows? Because right now, how many victories does Giga um, have? Um, it's got one. Um, uh, that if I actually, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, okay, I can, <laughs> I could kind of like this, um, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten victories out of nineteen battles, um, eleven victories. I forgot to count the invisible dead Giga. Um, 11 victories out of 19 battles, which is just over half. It's just kind of about, yeah. Yeah. It, okay, it did very good. It did very good. Very good, very good. So yeah, let me know what you thought of these battles as a testing uh, session. It was very interesting to see how strong the Dominion Giga is in this uh, game. Maybe the, its homeland um, increased its power. Who knows? We might have to test it on some other maps if, we, <laughs> because maybe the skins have a um, important factor to these battles and outcomes as well. But either than that, if you enjoyed this episode and if you would like to see more in the future, if you want to get notified by them, make sure to stomp your Giga or Tears foot on that subscribe bell. But if you want to get notified for that one, I hope all of you lovely Giga Notosaurus are going to have a great time. So all you lovely dinosaur members in the next episode. Goodbye, dinosaurs. The Talking T-Rex out.